Hello friends, these are the post tension flat material. You can see the chair. According to the height where the tendons are coming, the chairs are placed according to the height. This is the spray for the markings. You can see this red lines. It is used for the marking spray. Anchor casing cable. Anchor casing. Anchor block. Decking cable. You can see this is the use for decking for this. Uh, go inside this one tendons. So these are the kings. Tendons. Taking tape and grouting pipe. So the materials are used for the post tension slab. Here we already place for the life. And this is the anchor casing you can see. And this is the depth which are the tendons will go inside in this one. And where the finishing end will be have ducking tape here. So you can see here when the one ducking to the other ducking is overlap, there will be a ducking tape cover with this. Okay, and this is the tendons. You can see this how the tendons are coming. Dead end. This are used for the which is twister like this one. Okay. The life end will be like this, the anchor casing here. Inside this one, the tendons will be go. And here we can see the marking three. These are the three. Here the four. You can see this. Are, it means the four tendons are coming here. So you can see one, two, three, four. If other they are three, there will be three tendons. One, two, three. Three tendons will be there. According to that, we have to place it. So all everywhere it's marked. This is the anchor casing. And here we keep the deck. You can see this other decking and inside this one, the will pass through. Okay friends, these are the use for the post tension slab. And already I show you the materials according to that. It will be have that details. This is the chair, chair height according where the tendons are passing through. Spray, marking spray is there. Decking, cable, anchor block, decking tape, and our stands. Okay, friends. These are the materials used for the post-tension